Hello, 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 Silent Searchlight and Z Hydro. Hi, um, how are you all? I think I'm going to play some Kerbal Space Program for a little while, and it is a Tuesday night, so I figured I'd just hit this stream button. You know, the one that takes the screen and it kind of compresses it into some sort of digital representation, squirts it across the internet to the Twitch servers, and then they broadcast it out to the five or six people that actually watch. How is everyone? Cthulhu Asteroids Have Feelings to an Epic Text Master 112 and the Tech Link. Uh, has everybody watched my awesome report from Meteor Crater? Because I have to say, last weekend, best weekend ever. Like on so many levels. Uh, wow. I, I just, I have so much. Oh, that was so good. Oh, what was that? I get some bleeps or something happening in the background. Hey, New Jersey! Hi! And Rama, Ramana Kumar and Teague in San Diego. You visited that crater before. I know I've visited that crater before and I was disappointed I couldn't go inside it. And this time, my destiny was made or whatever. It was like, oh my god, I get to go to the middle and walk around and see stuff. I mean the Barringer Meteor Crater. I have a 360 video where I stand inside the crater and you can turn the camera and look in any direction. And yes, n not did I just get to fly in a, a Falcon 900. Uh, <laughs> pilot, uh, the crew let me sit in the jump seat for landing at Oakland. I was so happy. Oh my god, I was just like looking at every button. I was like, I need to, I need to buy myself one of these. Hey, see fair weather. Uh, the absolutely perfect distraction. Is there anything you're studying that I can help you with? Because, you know, maybe I've got some ideas that can help you. Rolbs is saying that he, that I am the perfect distraction for studying. And I, I'm kind of worried about that. So uh, let, let's just fly someone. Okay, who can tell me what this thing is supposed to be? Come on. Yes, it's a Dassault. I have, so, yes, Silent Searchlight is asking. Yes, a Dassault Falcon business jet. Does anybody know what this is supposed to be? Right? This is something that I've been working on. <laughs> Which part of Western history Robes is working on? There's so many parts that, uh, I mean, I, I obviously like. Yes! Z Hydro gets it right. It is a Kerbal Ekrano plan, right? Which is doesn't strictly work correctly because I don't think even Ferrum implements uh, ground effect. The idea is it has these stubby little wings. Oh, wait a second. Close. Close, damn it. Close. There we go. The idea is that the stubby little wings compress the air between the, the wings and the surface and therefore you only need short wings to make it fly um, and the idea was that you could fly really close to the surface really efficiently so I have actually so I, I have four sets of jets here right and they're all lined up together so if I do them I can fire up the jets together and we can make this thing really start to move it's not really hovercraft type plane, although it certainly uses a lot. A lot of this is in the tailplane. The tailplane was really important. So there we go. Once we get into the air, once we get into the air, we can actually start cutting power to things. There we go. So now we're just kind of cruising along here. Just stay up, stay up, stay up. And I'm going to cut shut down engines three and four now. Because we don't need those. Right? That's the idea, is that the wings, or sorry, that once you're out of the water, you don't really need nearly as much thrust. Now, it doesn't turn like a regular plane, it turns more like a car. So, it does have a habit of rolling because it has this ginormous tailplane. And I'm just going to try and keep my altitude relatively low here. Yeah, that's two sets of jet engines. The real Ekranoplan could actually fly on one pair of jet engines. So it would shut down almost everything. It would shut down basically to 25% power and then it would use that to fly around. I've obviously got Kerbal Constructs installed here. 
which is why I have these uh, you know, racing gates and stuff here. I'm not planning on air racing this thing. I'm just trying to see if I can keep control of this as I turn it. Oh, 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 there we go. Just going to keep the altitude up here. That's more like it. Oh, maybe a little close to the ground there. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Okay. Use pilot assistant to control plane. Uh, do I have pilot assistant installed? Because if I don't have pilot assistant installed, it's not going to help me, is it? I wish I had a shadow, to be honest. Yeah, oh, oh very close. So, the, yeah, the idea is it's like a super low-speed, low-altitude attack plane. It literally cannot gain altitude because if it does, it loses ground effect, right? So, one of the ideas was it would be a very fast attack vehicle that could cruise very close to the surface, stay below radar, and... Ooh, ooh just kind of skimming along the... Uh-oh, okay. Yes, in theory, it would be a very powerful if... if <laughs> uh, so, oh, man. Anyway, yeah, no shadow makes it very hard. Anyway, I was mu mucking around with that. Uh, that was uh, just things I was doing. They were non-vital parts anyway. <laughs> So, have we got a theme? Uh, oh, wow, look at this. Have we got an idea of what we should be building here? The only mass-produced Akrona plan actually had only three engines, two turbojets, and a nose that would blow along the upper surface of the main wings to exploit the Koanda effect for takeoff and a single Kuznetov NK-12 turboprop on the T-tail for uh, cruise propulsion. And that would be the same company that of course started building rocket engines right uh silent searchlight really knows his stuff and if i was to actually do a video about ecrano plans i would probably go and read a bit more instead of just guessing these things as uh okay and then yeah siri is talking to me again as siri is saying more service and guessing these things is okay yes siri is i'm i'm, I'm doing siriception here and Siri sing more service and guessing these things. Okay, yes, series. I'm doing so reception here singing more service. <laughs> it's like, what the? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just like silly. By the way, the beer for today is uh, I have a growler upstairs of Golden State of Mind. It's kind of a, uh, a tea wheat beer from Ale Industries, Oakland. It's very nice and light, very simple, very good. Oh, you know what I should try and do is build like a... I know what i got to do. I should try building something that looks like the Falcon 900, right? So, the little jet that I was flying on. I was like so excited. Uh, this is... It was obviously organized by some Asteroid fans. And just so happens, I guess, some Asteroid fans happen to have planes. Um, good for them. And I... You know, I am totally grateful to these people for being space fans and helping out. Where the heck is stuff? So, um, and the the person flying just seems to enjoy flying. So that's a good thing as well. Turns out that if you are in you know space circles, you're going to encounter quite a few people that like flying. How many people do do these things fit to? Yeah, that's a little small crew capacity. Ah, uh, whatever. I said Falcon Nine. Hundred. I'm gonna figure out how to do the center line engine. What I really need, uh, I think, what I'm gonna do is use the little engines, and the obvious way to do the center line engine is just to have like a tail that tapers out and then somehow mount an engine in the middle of it. Like, oh, okay, these are not right. That's a 1.25. Do we not have? We have this kind of tail plane. I mean, we could put one of those on the tail. And then try to stick an engine on there somehow. And I think I can probably do it with the magic of part clipping. So we need we need one of these. So I'm gonna just try and get that tail running first. 
Oh, you know what? Uh, I should probably put like an engine on, a fuel tank on it. Now I think about it, uh, these are airplane wings, airplane tail fin, uh, swept wings. These these are these might are probably actually the right size. So if I put a pair of these on, and you can't put any you can't put any fuel in these, but I could scale these up a little. Oh yeah, that'll work. Okay, and by the way, in case you're wondering what that sound is, that is what it sounds like when a washing machine runs. I, I, you know, I have no idea if I can actually make something that will be anywhere near as cool as the actual plane that I flew in, but uh, I will do my best. Go to space without a command pod, just the external seats. I have done things like that in the past. It's a silly thing to do. Okay, I guess I need one of these. Oh, you, or, 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 or. Uh, RCS tanks. No, I don't want RCS fuel. We have the miniature Mark Mark One. Where's the Mark Zero? Mark Zero. Yes. So we can actually do these. Do the engines on the Mark Zero. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, there. So we need to put a pair of these on here. I don't remember. I am doing this from memory. So this could be completely wrong. Now we need to find some air intakes here, right? Small circular intake. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Now, of course, we need the little, little teensy, teensy, weensy, tiny, weasley, wincy, wheezy, sneaky, sneaky, tiny, whiny jet engine, which is somewhere in here. And I am obviously just saying this to buy time. As do you know? Do you know? Do you know where it is? I know where it is. Do you know? Do you know? I know. That might be a little small. A little short. We'll work on it. Uh, <sighs> okay, so... Structural... Now we need to find a cubic octagonal strut, and I shall try to attach one of these on the rear. And this is where it gets interesting. So, if I put one like that, right, then turn off that. Now, what we can do is using the power of part clipping, we can attach that in there and do the rotation. There we go, line that up there. And then slide that into the fuselage ever so carefully. And that way we'll have like a jet engine on the rear. Okay. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a good start. Uh, it won't, he gets the S duct engine. It won't, what we mind? There's all these people talking about all sorts of things. An Eclipse 9000. No, this is not an Eclipse 9000. This is a far more... I don't know what Eclipse 9000 actually is. Okay, where's a tailplane? Tailfin. Let's try this. That tailfin is a little too big. Now, I can't actually remember how high... Okay, now i got to go and look at the internet, right? Pardon me, i got to look up Falcon 900. Oh, Falcon... Let's let's bring up some pictures of it, right? There we go. That's the reference. So that is a kind of an older one. There's another one. Ah, okay, so they're all kind of like that. I, I guess I need to move... Yeah, some of those engines will be fine. I'll just need to fix this. The tail is actually pretty darn big. I hadn't realized how big that tail was. Obviously, it worked pretty well. Okay, so let's continue working from these as a uh, as a reference point. So yeah, that tail is actually pretty good, and I'm going to move it here, and that's on the middle. And now, of course, I can slide the whole thing backwards. Oh, oh, there you see, bingo! Now this does have a control surface in it. Yeah, so we just need to put yaw on it and disable these, and we're going to need. I think I could actually shrink these down back to the regular size now I think about it. 
and maybe slide them forwards a bit because otherwise we are going to be yeah that's going to work this is starting to look like the right thing Yeah, it is true, actually. Kerbal Space Program players do tend to make the tails on planes way smaller than they're supposed to be. So now we need the little uh, air intake here. So I think what I'm going to do is get another one of these and just kind of clip it in. That is my plan, and I'm sticking to it. So... Mark Zero liquid engine, liquid-fueled engine. So we'll clip it in here, right? And then... Grab one of these, stick it on there. Now we need to kind of twist it around and down. Uh, oh, that is going to be a really bad idea. Have I got any problems with landing? Uh, I have always have problems with landing gear. It just never, ever works. Okay, that may not work exactly what... I think there's an adapter between the Mark 1, 2, 5. You know, maybe I should just cheat. Maybe I'm just going to cheat, actually, and do this instead. Use the radial intake. This may not be correct, but it it is a plan that I'm going to attempt to use. Yeah, I think, actually, I shouldn't have used this kind of tailplane. I think I should have used a... Yeah, I should. Uh, yeah, you see, my tailplane design is wrong. Okay, gotta ditch this. Uh, and actually, before I ditch this, I see. So, 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 so. I see. I see. I see. I see. There we go. That's what we want. Flip that around. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That is looking more the part now as well, right? So now I need to go and do my uh, rocket engine trick again. So I need to stick this somewhere temporarily. Just let me steal it back for just a moment. Mm. Oh, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. I'll just toss you. I don't care. So I need to put that engine back on there again. So structural parts. So anybody know how the six degree of uh, freedom controllers work in KSP? And I would say, uh, I don't know, but I would love to try. Six degree of freedom controllers are more like, are like mice or mouses or meese. They're meeses, obviously. Can I do an American accent? Which kind of American accent would you? Uh, I would say that I can uh, do an American accent depending upon which region you might be referring to. I suspect there are people out there that perhaps could uh, give me a run for my money and uh, could tell me that I am rather non-American. Frankly, I don't give a damn. These individuals are far too stringent in their requirements for my uh, linguistic skills or otherwise. How's that sound? I don't actually know. I, I, I can, I'm not very good at la accents in general. <laughs> that, that's Texan. Charleston, South Carolina? I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I could be a little more southern there. Um, but you know, I'm not really able to do any of these things without perhaps being uh, a little bit of a pastiche or a parody. Of the individuals in question. I sound really terrible, don't I? We're we're not building a 727. No, no, no. We're building a Falcon 900. Because... F yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I was looking for aerodynamics. Again, actually, now I can do this probably. I can do the Mark 1, Mark 0. And then clip this into the middle. Uh, and then we can stick on the air intake, aerodynamics, again, tiny little circular intake. Where's my teensy, tiny, weensy, wincy, tiny, tiny? There it goes, circular intake. So now take this, uh, rotate this actually, and then grab it and move it downwards. 
it's not X I want to do C there we go do it gently I think I need to rotate this just a bit more that's looking better huh that's looking pretty good huh oh yeah how's that looking for you I, that it gives okay so in theory married to an American gives you citizenship but you still have to do a ton of paperwork and lawyers and stuff like that so I'm I still have to get around to doing that in fact I have to get around to doing that sooner rather than later okay ah excellent nice so we get some flaps there and I guess I'll just do another set of these. Oh, you know, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should. Oh, crap. Okay. Do these at the wingtips. And then in the middle, I can do the kind of thicker ones. Okay, that's really confusing. Never mind. I just want to think about these uh, thinner flaps here, how I can use them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, that's not quite right. What do I think of the upcoming game Stellaris? I am waiting for that game so much. Stellaris, I am... Yeah, Stellaris. I was so excited to get a chance to see that at GDC. I I literally ended up... Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Control z I literally ended up, like, running half... You know, several blocks so I could get there in time to see it. They actually... Uh, Hendrik, Hendrik was really nice because he was actually heading for a plane in like half an hour and he stayed back to show me the game and I was so grateful for those guys I am really looking forward to playing Stellaris I, I cannot tell you explain just how awesome I expect that game to be uh, all the same I also expect the you know what, that might actually be the wrong one. I think I'm going to do roll on this one. I'm going to do pitch on... Yeah, roll. Pitch. No, pitch should be... Oh, that, that's what... There, yeah, pitch will be active. And then we need a tailplane. I forgot the tailplane. Can I do more Elite Dangerous? I should do more Elite Dangerous because Elite Dangerous is so much fun. Okay. I guess the wings were like kind of like that. That might be a little big. Let's take a look at the thing. I go, oh, of course, I have tweak scale. I can just, like, scale this thing down a little. Maybe 70%. That's like it. Okay, so now we need to give this pitch control. No, no. Actually, we need to enable pitch control here. That's pretty good. I'm just going to try and shift this into a better location. Yep, yeah, uh, Elite Dangerous, I still say, is... Uh, one of the most immersive and enjoyable uh, space sims. People do think it's shallow, and I can see why, if they just get focused on, you know, just trying to make money, how they will get bored with it. Whereas, if you enjoy flying spaceships, there is nothing else like it. There is nothing else coming close at this time. Uh, and... You know, the nearest is a, you know, the Star Citizen tech demo, which has practically no content. Uh, even though it does have a bunch of ships. Yeah, Game of Thrones. So here's the thing. Game of Thrones is back. And on Sunday night, I was too tired to watch it. And no spoilers. I'm just going to ignore chat because people are going to spoil me. Actually, I don't care. But please, no spoilers. What do I think of No Man's Sky? I think that it's being controlled very heavily by Sony, and I am haven't seen anything about it, so I can't tell you. Oh, now, where's the landing gear on this thing? Uh, where's the picture? You need to bring this up. Landing gear, I guess, is just under the wings there? Okay. That's mostly looking the part. I guess the landing gear is a bit heavier here, so maybe I should do medium landing gear. Oh no, that's that's way too big. 
large, extra large. Okay, so we basically have small, medium, large, and extra large. So what I'm going to do here is try to match, try to figure out how to rotate these into place. There we go. Okay, that's not so ridiculous. Um, might need to move this around a little. Let's uh, let's call this F nine hundred. F nine hundred. Save and try launching this thing. Does anybody think there should be a smaller retractable? Maybe. I mean, you know, you can do all sorts of things. Okay. Let's see how this thing flies, huh? What are the odds that this is flyable at first? I think the cabin is actually a bit short, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, so here's the problem. I need to disable pitch control. Pitch! Why? What? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so... There needs to be no pitch on the wings here. How come that's active? That should have just been roll. I was an idiot, obviously. And I got that wrong. Roll should be active. There we go. Roll. Uh, this one actually might allow pitch. Let's allow pitch on this one. Or actually, let's just leave that there. I think we might need some bigger flaps here at the tail. Let's just see what I think. Oh, I have not had a chance to log into EVE Online. So I don't know. So Citadel's just launched today. It is the new EVE Online expansion. It's actually one of the first big expansions they've done in a long time. They did it basically the week after FanFest. Okay, let's just see. We've got air intakes working and we got thrust working. Let's try this. And I think I need bigger tailplane. Because I'm just not able to get enough torque on this thing. Oh, I can't get that nose up. Yeah, look at this. Even... Even with the tail pulling full up, it just can't work. It's it's like a lawn dart. Okay. I do know pro off Pro God Legend, and uh, he had words to say about my um, history of uh, the fall the 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 Fountain War, and quite rightly so because he really was the guy leading a lot of the. Um, he was basically leading what was left of, of test against the goons, and, and I did not give him nearly enough credit for the amount of work he did. Uh, I, I totally understand. I, I uh, very much pointed out... I, I very much... you. Know, I wasn't very good at pointing out just how much work was came from the allies of uh, test. So yeah, he he was basically like, you knew nothing. I was there. Test never showed up. They were a bunch of wusses, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna argue with that. But you know, I was kind of there, and I did see Test and Fleet. Never realized that Pro God Legend was actually the one doing the leading and being awesome. So you know, mad props to him. I uh, I totally have to say that. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> you should probably fix the position of the rear landing gear. We've got so much weight at the rear of this plane. Okay, let's try it now. I got a fully moving tailplane. I suspect that is not consistent with... Oh, this thing is not wanting to lift its nose up. Oh, oh wow, look, I have got the nose packed all the way back. I think the wing sweep is too much. I think that's one of the problems I'm dealing with. Yeah, look at this. Wing... I wonder if I can increase my control authority. There, look, I can just give it a little more power there. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, well, that is halfway there.
Yes, there is a mouse-assisted flight mode, which helps terrible people fly. You think the middle engine is pushing the center of thrust down? Well, what I could do is angle it, but I don't think that's going to matter too much. It Honestly, like, it has no pitch authority pushing down either. It's The wings are too far forward, or too far back at this point. Okay, let's spin this out of control. Yeah, look at it. Okay, revert to the space building hangar. No, the off-center thrust doesn't matter because I'm pushing the thing down. I'm pushing the nose down and it's not responding nearly uh, particularly well either. So I'd really like to cut the amount of sweep on these wings, but I'm not sure what else to use. You know, so for... Um, oh, crap. to me to do that. It has fantastic roll authority. Yes. It is truly a potent rolling beast. It rolls like a pro. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is sweep these wings forwards a little. Or reduce the sweep in these wings. Right? That's more like it. That's more legal. Let's just take a look at center of lift... Center of mass. Center of mass. Oh, we're getting a little better there. And then if I attach these to the body, then we should be able to make this happen. There. Let's do that. And then we'll move the them down to match the ideal location. Maybe not quite there. Let's just adjust this a little and then adjust them outwards and adjust them forwards just a bit so yeah that might work a little better let's try that this is stock aero yeah it, do it does do things like that anhedral tailplanes oh my god everyone is just like has so many ideas about how to make this thing fly better i love it i love you guys you're so like you're you're thinking so hard about this. I am not a pro at this by any point. What is my upload speed? Never fast enough. Hey, okay. Look at this. This is more like it. Yeah, we're able to pull a couple of Gs in a climb, and yeah, we have way too much roll authority. I wonder if I could just... Maybe I should put pitch up application on this. Or maybe... You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave... Hold on. Uh, roll will be active on this. And... Roll will not be on this one, but we will deploy. Oh, let's try deploying. Okay, that deploy direction is inverted. So that's my... That's my flaps, right? Okay, so there. I get landing flaps now as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to limit the... Yeah. This roll authority is insane. I'm going to cut this down. So we can adjust these things in flight. Is Jato ever a bad idea? Of course not. Jato is an idea which is never bad. Unless you've attached it to your car. In which case, Jato may not be the best thing. Especially if you want to, you know, drive around the corners and things like that. I believe Stock Aero does actually model drag, though. Uh, when you... It models the change in drag as you adjust the sweep of the wing front. Yeah, look, oh, look we do have a, a course to fly. Let's try flying it. Yeah, look, this is pulling like 4 or 5 Gs. So this is actually relatively close to real performance. Let's try flying some of this course. Yeah, that's good. Still too much roll authority. Uh, let's try that. This thing has so much power for a small business jet. I mean, that was one of the cool things, right? Like, taking off. So, I just remember being in the in the jet and the, you know, they throttle up the engines and took off and literally, like at Flagstaff, 
they used like one third of the runway to get into the air. Between firing up the engines and rotating to lift off was like one third of the runway. It's like the shortest takeoff of any passenger plane I've ever been on. It was so damn exciting. And it was kind of comfortable as well, but man, it was sweet. But the best thing was that because it was like a private plane, you know, we, we could do a circle of the uh, the crater. And I got some really good photos of the crater from the air. I get tons of them. So yeah, you really need to check out my YouTube because I've got all sorts of awesome uh, crater video and stuff going on here. Okay, so let's try and lose some power and try landing this thing, right? So now let's deploy these. Oh. Deploy. So I'm going to try to use this to slow my plane down. Okay, there we go. So I've slowed the plane down. And let's throttle down a little more. This is not... Uh, no, you don't fly over the crater because uh, there's at least one known case of a plane that flew over the crater at low altitude and fell into the crater, basically. Uh, it was really... <laughs> Okay, this is doing pretty well. Okay, let's apply those brakes. Ah! Uh, wow! That, that's it! Yeah, the wheelbase is a little narrow. Uh, I mean, to be honest, it looks very little like a Falcon 900, but yeah, you know, I'm I'm quite happy with that. I love building planes! Okay, revert flight to space plane hangar. What crater? The meteor crater? Duke, Duke, p keep up with events. Go and watch my YouTube if you want to know what crater we're talking about. I've beat KSB. I can retire! <laughs> Let's actually just put these things in here. So, uh, these are all inactive. We uh, deploy, yeah, we'll deploy them here. We reduce the authority limiter to like 20%, let's see, and that's the role. Uh, anything else? I think that was it. That was the design that we went with. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we could probably move these these wheels out a little just to create a bit more wheelbase here. There. It's still in one piece and it flies pretty well. Will I upload a video of you flying that jet or post pics of the crater from the air? I have posted videos uh, out in my YouTube. I posted it and you just have to follow the playlist and look at the links. Uh, okay. So... Let's save this. Uh, F900. Let's try building something new. So, the other thing I thought I could start doing, it is, you know, it's uh, April 26th. Does anybody know what movie has been getting a lot of promotion because of April 26th? Uh, 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 I think this is the way to start, right? No SRBs. No, we're not doing that. Okay. Jingles Landing is the best. What's a Jingles Landing? Aliens. Aliens has been getting a ton of promotion. Because LV426, so 426. Yeah. Uh, so I thought, why not try building like a... Something that looks a little... At least slightly like the um, the dropship. Let's see what I can do in terms of dropship design here. So I'm just totally guessing what I can do here. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. We'll start with that, and then we need like the the front of the the thing to be doing something, right? I don't know, I think I just want to have something that flies... April 26th is rather a bleak anniversary. 
No, no, we're talking about the dropship from uh, Aliens. You know, one of the finest action movies ever made in the history of action movies at cinema. Like, one of the things that everybody should know. And if you don't know, then I am ashamed that I, I don't want to know you, honestly. Mm, the cockpit is different, more blunt. How do I... It, it looks like an Apache cockpit, doesn't it, right? And we don't have anything like that. Uh, what can I use for an Apache-style cockpit? It's too pointy. Oh, hey, it's too pointy, pointy. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what I could do is, like, that maybe. Yeah, I'll do that, right? That'll be the cockpit at the front. So, yeah, we need, like, a rear wings that lean up. And you know what? I could, I think I could do two of these because it's a two-person cockpit, right? Okay. We're going to go with it. It was modeled off a of Cobra. Sorry, yes, you're right. It was modeled off an AH, which does not stand for asshole, but, yeah. Um... Let's let's try and put some sort of, sort of nose stuff on this. Oh, we need intakes. Oh, yeah, not one of those. Oh, yeah, we need air intakes all over the joint. Honestly, I am just trying to guess what this is going to look like. So, let's, let's have this fold over here. And I'm going to flip it, actually. And then we're going to rotate it. To rotate. Yes. How Hydra or Laser from GTA 5. Honestly, I haven't played GTA 5 because I have just approximately, only slightly, zero free time to actually do anything. I vaguely remember a Hydra from uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I have to make the forklift. Yes, you mean the power loader? That's what it's called. The power loader from Aliens. Now, what I'm going to do here is build a truss segment here. Oh, yeah. So I think I'm going to build everything off of that truss. And the cubic truss. Oh, yeah, this is totally going to work. This is totally going to work. If I can put the darn thing in the middle. There we go. And so we want that loading ramp, right? So the loading ramp should actually come from, like, under here. So we need to, what we need is some, like, fuselage or something, right? But I honestly, this is doing it from memory. I need, like, a big boxy structure, right? Oh, there's so many parts to use here. I'm not sure which parts I should use. Trust it will work. Finally, an alien dropship. I'm not sure this is such a good idea, actually. I think what I want to do, if I can find it... Here, look. Mark three cargo ramp. What I'm going to do is stick this on here. Right? And... No, I want to do that. But I want to rotate it. And then we'll grab it. Rotate that that way. Okay, that's going to be really terrible. Maybe I can adjust this move. Oh, there we go. Right, so we can bring this down. Oh, why is it not in the center? Oh, man. This thing is, is like, slightly off-center here, scumbag. Okay, so this thing will cl There, okay, so that's us kind of working on it. That's a really terrible design here. Let's say I close this. So, yeah, you'll have a, a cockpit, and then we just got to kind of build out some... Uh, some structure around this thing. This is just this is just such a bad plan. That thing looks absolutely crazy. Yes, it does. It looks completely terrible, and we should just stop building it right now because this is never gonna fly. 
Uh, either that, or it's never going to fly in the time that I have to do anything in this. Close that. So we can have some sort of storage area in there. And yeah, the, the back of this thing, right, we can just leave this continually closed. And then we need to have, like, a, a tailplane section, right? So we got to have, like, big-ass wings and stuff. In honor of, can I bing, build an R-wing? I don't remember enough about the R-wing design. Uh... I want to have this thing flying somehow, and I can't really figure out how to do it because I'm not really the best. I guess what I'm going to do, actually, is look for structural parts. Where are structural parts? Here. There we go. Let's start building this thing into an acceptable... Oh man, this rotates the wrong way. This is just going to be a disaster! This is a total disaster already! This is awful! Why am I even attempting something like this? I am bad at uh, designing things that look cool in Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, you know what? Right, screw trying to look like the alien dropship. Right, okay. Uh, cancel, cancel. You know what? I don't care about trying to look exactly like the alien dropship. I want to look like the thing. I'm going to have the cockpit. I'm going to have a big elevated tail. And if it looks anything like it, I will be happy. If it doesn't, I don't care, right? <laughs> this is me building from memory, from a movie that I haven't had a chance to watch in a very long time. Although I did just buy the, like, some collection of things. I bought basically the, the Alien Blu-ray collection because I just realized that not having it was making me a sad person. So I think it's like that. It has, like, a big wing like that. You know, yeah, Das has more time than me, right? Das will do a lot and he will keep doing it. Now, okay, so we kind of got that. I gotta figure out how to make this structure work all the way down here. We need to have landing gear down this way as well, right? So we need the big heavy landing gear. Where's the heavy landing gear? It's under here. No, it's not under here. It's under here. Under here. It's under here. We're gonna drop this on your... Oh, extra large landing gear. That is what we're gonna use. We're totally gonna use that. Oh, yeah. Now, okay, that actually looks like it might be part of the design. Okay, now we've got to move these outwards a little because sometimes we have issues with clipping these things. So I'm just going to move them far enough away that they don't end up clipping through the body. Otherwise, you'll sometimes get warnings that your uh, things are clipping. Okay, so that. And then we'll do these things. We're going to have to make this thing fly. That's the... Oh, oh you... Damn it! Oh, somebody, somebody, oh yeah, I've already played through the Stanley Parable, though, so there's no point in me pretending to do a blind playthrough. Uh, I know everything about the Stanley Parable. Parabubble. There's an idea, a parabubble. Okay, so I need to adjust the deploy limit. Uh, 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 okay, you know what, move this down to floor height. That's mostly there. Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to accept that. Okay, so now we need some engines and stuff on the side. To we need, like, some structure and everything. Some engine. Oh, we need the big wings! The wings that come out, right? We need to have some sort of structural wing with rockets and stuff on them. 
So for that, it's definitely going to be... Uh, oh, aerodynamic pylons. No, those are really, really tiny. No, power bubble. A power bubble. A power bubble is like you parachute and then you pop open. Instead of a parachute, it's a bubble. And then you kind of float down to the surface and then the bubble pops. And you're there. You arrive in the battlefield instead of like a paratrooper, but like a bubble trooper. It's like how fairies get deployed militarily, obviously. And by fairies, I mean the kind that fly around, obviously, because fairies do obviously have armed forces, right? Very clear about that, that uh, armed forces are useful for all species all over the place. Okay, so let's actually start here. Maybe I should actually start... Them. Oh, you know what? The problem is... The problem here... Okay, so actually, that's fine. I'll start here. There we go. So we're going to have the wings that come out, right? Totally impractical. I don't care. We're going to have to have a ton of, like, a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then these things can come up and over, right? Because they're they're supposed to have the missiles and stuff on here, right? Then we'll have missiles all over this thing. Yeah, remember that? No? Never mind. Sounds cool, wouldn't it be more of a target? Yes, of course it will be a terrible, terrible target. Large radial target. Ooh, I like... Ooh, ooh, that, that totally looks the part. That's totally going in there. It's probably not the correct look, but I'm totally putting that in there. Yeah. That's going to be awesome looking. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Maybe I should put some fuel and stuff on this thing. Where are these fuel tanks? Yeah, this is what I want. So I want to start with this. And I am actually going to rotate this very carefully so that it kind of disappears into the fuselage like that. There we go. Totally impractical looking. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. This thing is fly it over there. Oh. Ooh, look at these. Yeah, we should put some of these on the back. That's totally going to work, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man so yeah we were gonna I was gonna do these little engines here. oh you know what I can do I can use these tiny 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 teensy weensy uh, do we have solid rocket boosters here I can scale my solid rocket boosters down oh wait they're under engines I, I'm always stuck in old school mode right so I can attach these in here and they're facing the wrong way and then I can scale these things down. Look, yeah, scale. There, we have a ton of missiles in here, so I can make it look the part. This thing is totally going to explode, but you know what? It's going to look. We're going to make it fly somehow, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Did anybody see that they put the aliens? Oh crap! I completely forgot they were putting the aliens soundtrack on sale on transparent alien blood filled vinyl, and I was like, I totally wanted a copy of that, and then I've just realised now that I forgot to actually get in line and order it. So I'm not gonna have access to that thing. But actually, I used to have the aliens soundtrack on vinyl as a kid. I was quite it. You taught me a great many things. I'm going to pull these out. So if you remember, the, the they had all these munitions and stuff that were loaded into these um, 
like wings that folded out. Look, we got some. Look, I've got the rough idea. We've got the loading ramp. We've got the missiles. <laughs> the <laughs> Someone has just said, the day that I figure out the correct button to rotate my parts is the day that he quits smoking. I am going to endeavor to know exactly the right part. I should have got more beer. <laughs> uh, oh, look, I should have done space Y heavy lifter. No, we're not doing that. Okay. So we need some jet engines. We need a ton of jet engines. Um, and I need to load these up somehow. Oh, we need air intake. Oh, we're going to need a ton of air intakes. Yes, let's put some air intakes on this thing. Uh, and now I'm wondering, can I attach these things radially? Because that would help. Oh, yes, I can attach these things radially. So let's, so let's attach some air intakes like here and here, right? And that, let's do like... Oh yeah, you see, now it looks totally militaristic because I've got these things. Why did it not duplicate these things? Okay. You're annoying. Thank you. You see, that's starting to look cooler, huh? It wouldn't be KSP if I didn't hit every single key on the keyboard trying to make it do what I needed. Yes, exactly. You know what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to hide a ton of reaction wheels in here while I'm remembering. Uh, advanced inline stabilizers. I guess I could put that there. Oh, crap. No, did not mean to duplicate that whole thing. Advanced inline stabilizer. And once again, duplicating that. And another one of those. Yeah, that'll help. That'll give me some control. But I'm going to sneak these down now and hide them inside here. You see, it's a cunning plan to make this thing sort of controllable in the face of something which clearly should not be flyable because it's designed by somebody that's not really... is designing it from memory, but also not only that. Someone that is designing something which has no real-world analog. There... There... I just think it's amazing that if I have, like, three buttons to push, odds are it will always be the third one. Okay. So, another one, another one of these structural panels. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. There, okay. So this is starting to look like a... I have no idea what it's looking like. It's the Cheyenne dropship from the movie Aliens. Where's my center of mass? Center of mass. Okay, so I need to put a bunch of engines on this thing that actually work, right? And to do that, I'm going to use the mini jet engine things. Do, 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 do these. Where are the fuel tanks? Fuel tanks, liquid fuel tanks. Oh, you know what? Actually, I can stick some. I can start by sticking some engines on to various places. Let's do that. Let's start here, actually, right? So, yeah. On the side, C... I'll do that. One, two, three. So, that's getting lift towards the rear. And then this is going to interfere with my undercarriage, which is a bit of a problem. But all I can, do, all I should do is attach my undercarriage external to that. Ha! Problem solved. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, this is totally going to work, right? So let's take my, uh, let's adjust my 
undercarriage. Move it outwards just a bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is really starting to look the right way. So now, uh, what do we use for vertical lift? Uh, 0.6... Uh, smaller, cuter version. Oh, mini jet. No, we don't want that. We want a lifting jet. Uh, we should probably use the vector jets now. The Panthers. Where's the Panthers? There. Panthers will have vectoring, so they will be able to do all these things. And the good news is, I have the thrust control mod enabled, so I should actually be able to uh, do all sorts of things. To, it, it should be able to help me, assist me in keeping control of this thing. Okay, this is utterly... Wait! What the heck? Why did you decide not to do it on that side? Oh, man. Thank you. Stay, yes, there we go. God damn it. Okay, uh, untitled spacecraft. Um, aliens. Okay, so save this and we should probably make sure that those SRBs, I shall actually defuel these SRBs for now. Uh, no, not that. I want to defuel all the SRBs. Because we just don't want them firing. They're just there for show right now. We're not firing the SRBs, not yet. Maybe once we actually get the rest of the vehicle to fly, we'll look at it. But right now, we are flying with a non-SRB combat load. Okay. Launch. Will I play another game in a little bit? I might have a ton of other games to catch up on. I have... Um, I have Starpoint Gemini I'm supposed to work on. Yeah, Starpoint Gemini Warlord. Yeah, I've been waiting to play that, but I've been kind of busy. Okay. So, obviously, this thing needs fixed. We need some struts here. Now, throttle-controlled avionics. Um, actually, X. <laughs> no. Um, I forget how to use this thing. Auto-throttle. <laughs> okay, let's close this thing. Auto throttle. Maybe the auto level is is hold current attitude. Let's do that, right? Let's see if this works. No, it's still not doing it. Okay. Still. Oh, let's watch this thing jump around. The pilot's not dead! <laughs> Therefore, this is totally a successful mission. <laughs> I'm recreating that scene from Aliens where Dietrich gets attacked from behind by the alien in the cockpit. We should- this should be Dietrich Kerman. Okay, so... <laughs> So Silent Searchlight is telling us an amazing story about his Lomo Little Mac 30 millimeter Mac Cass, sorry, Mac Gregorian telescope. Very cool, sir. Uh, I wish I had time to actually pay attention to everything. Game over, man! Game over! We're some pretty shit now, man! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't know, why don't we Build a fire! This is no man! Time was getting short! Three more weeks and out! Game over, man! Game over! <laughs> um, 
Uh, I wonder if I can... First limiter, actually, okay. That's interesting that that rear one works. Uh, so... So actually, yeah, let's strut this thing first. That, that is definitely something we can't ignore. That is a really interesting asymmetric strut situation. <laughs> I do, I do kind of like this uh, front notion here. So we need to figure out how to make this work. Let's close this. Looks like the stream got abducted by aliens. No, this is nothing to do with alien. <laughs> oh dear. What what can I do at this front here to make it look more realistic? I'm I'm just trying to struggle through to think what I want to do at the front here. Now this There we go. Do that. Okay. Well, hey, who knows what I'm going to do? Who knows what's going to happen here? Like, I think I should stick like an engine under here, maybe. Just like underneath the nose. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And that should give me some pitch control, right? Actually, it wouldn't give me any pitch control, but I'm going to stick it on there because whatever. It'll be fun. We might not have any power on this engine for all I know. Uh, do, 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 do. do you know basic jet engine? And then tool, move yourself up and rotate yourself around. Okay. How bad could this possibly be? What we've got here is a failure to communicate. Some people you just can't reach. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's try this again. So, I want to hold current attitude, right? No, I want to do that. Okay, so let's try throttling up and see if we can hold attitude. Is this thing working actually? Oh, this is generating fuel, okay. Let's raise the thrust slowly. Let everything respond. Wow, look at that thing. The aliens will never know we're coming in this. There, we're at 66% thrust. This is good, this is good, this is good. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, apparently holding attitude is just not something this is good at. Hold current position, full... Th I, I'm trying to hold current attitude. Ah, oh, man. Let's try again. This stream needs more boosters, yes. I like how it's just like spinning around in circles. Oh yeah. What's really funny is I'm trying to turn the opposite direction and it ain't, re is ain't not responding. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like a bird. It's like I'm dead. I'm. Dead. <laughs> oh man. Ah, oh, let's let's revert flight to the space plane hangar. <laughs> it looks like a bug in a whale had me. Uh, that runs the commercial run. Yeah, I know that isn't that terrible. I think that's something they need to fix. Uh, 
let's put a Juno basic jet engine on the back here because why not? This will totally work. I don't have skids. What am I going to do? 19 viewers. Clearly if something is broken if, if uh, we only have 19 viewers. I have no idea how many viewers we actually have. We have about 200. My god, 200? Really? Really 200? That is kind of crazy and insane. Uh, hold current attitude. Now let's try that again. Let's shut down the engine. Let's try this now, see if it'll flip forwards. Okay. Let's see how it goes. It's moving forwards. Hey, look, look, it's flying. Sorta. Okay, we had it flying for a second. <laughs> We're in an express elevator to hell. Going down. I think I can truly make this thing fly, right? I, the question is... How fly can we make it? Enable. Everyone's like saying press enable. That's what I'm forgetting. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when you don't use these things for a long time. Uh, hold. No, enabled. Okay. Hold. Hold attitude. Let's try it again. No, not this. Let's see if this thing will work for me. The elevator. Oh yeah, we got this. Okay, let's see if it'll get me airborne. A little more thrust and we will be going into the air. I can totally feel it. I can feel it. We're going to be airborne any minute now. I can see the weight coming off these front wheels. A little more power. Just a little more. Just a little more. Okay, see, this thing is pitching up. Oh, look, it's adjusting the thrust limiter here to try and keep me level. Now it's not sure what to do. I'm going to thrust a little higher. Oh, turn off the brake. Oh, it's turning on the brakes for some reason. Look at it messing with the thrust limiter to try and keep this thing horizontal. Look! Look, it's actually holding. Set point to at least one meter per second, and you'll fly. There we go. Let's start moving forwards. Let's just start moving that. There, okay. Oh my god! It's like moving! And it's pulling in the gear as well. Holy moly! Can I push forwards on this? There we go. And... We're moving forwards just a bit. And we're losing it. Vertical speed. <laughs> Gear! I have to say, this is a surprisingly <laughs> bouncy spacecraft. Like, <laughs> I like how the whole thing can sit on this one stuff. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Now, now, now I should actually look up the dropship from Aliens. Okay, so Aliens dropship. Oh, somebody actually has that in there. Uh, wow, yeah, this looks nothing like it. It needs to be wider. Oh, and it has the... I forgot about these things here. Man. 
That's such a cool design. This is such an awesome spacecraft design, damn it. The world is... Yeah. James Cameron, he was an awesome dude. He is an awesome dude. I, apparently, I heard he was a meteor creator recently as well, having a private event. Because, you know, it's an awesome place to be. Ah, okay. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Is there something I can play for like 10, 20 minutes and just have fun? Oh, I have Starship Corporation, but I think that might be under... Uh, I think I might... i got to be careful with some of these press versions because sometimes they have uh, release dates that I'm not allowed to break. Oh, I was playing Pollen last week. Let's Let's play a little more of this. And see if we can figure out what was going on. Uh, I'm gonna finish playing more uh, Pollen. Because I was playing it last week and we had some weird story going on and I figured uh, maybe people actually care enough about the story. Yes, I know it's probably a lot of talky talky, chatty chatty, but whatever. Let's turn the sound up. Make something that should not fly. I think I was just doing that. Oh, I've got to play the long dark again sometime. Why is this stuck? 1963, whatever. This game is uh, a space walking simulator thing. Prison Architect. Yes, another game which uh, I have, which I have not played. Play uh, study library. Which one was I doing? I think it was this one. It is a walk sim, and there's alien pollen brain thing. The Long Dark, yeah, they... I love The Long Dark so much. Okay, study library. Yeah, it's too late. We're doing pollen because we're in the middle of loading save files and things like that. I'm just going to put the sound up a bit, and it just sits here. Do, 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 do. It's thinking, 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 thinking. It is tape player simulator. It's 1980s tape player simulator. Why is it taking so long to load the game? Is it because it's being loaded from like a 1980s Betamax tape? Still loading saved game. No? Spooky bees. Oh, it's thinking really hard. <laughs> oh, did we get something yet? Maybe. Nope. Maybe. Nope, it's thinking. Oh, we have life. We have life. Okay, what was going on here? You know what? I remember... Yeah, we found this... We jumped in and we found this dude and he'd like... There's his boot. Let's play Toss the Welly. Uh, 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 oh, and we have... Philip Clement Paul. I shall take that into my suit. I have all these books here. Oh, what is that? A high density data reel. Okay. I guess that's not anything useful, otherwise it would have gone into my inventory. Where's the thing that was used to get me how did I teleport here actually? Wasn't there a camera down here or a tape player or something? Oh Dia City. Oh hold on. If we open this Odioda Bay Maybe we have... Ah! So we can close that, maybe? Nope. Uh, play one of these, maybe? Play one? Nope. Or maybe I close it. Eject also closes it. There's some sort of sounds going on. Oh. 
just sounds like ambient noise to make people feel, you know, cool about being stuck in space. We got another one of these. Dia for a planet. Let's play number four. Ooh. It's what passes for music in this century. Oh wait, no, it's the century that we, we've we lived through. It's 1985. Cigarettes, excellent. No, don't need cigarettes. And books. Mastering hex chests, not very useful. Because I'm here to do other things. Drugs, meditation, drinks. A premium vodka, I see. Okay. Yeah, we don't need that. Let's go through this door now. Hey, everything seems to be super shiny again, so we've clearly returned to the present. I'm gonna head up here because I think I have access cards that now work. So whose access cards do I have? Oh, kitty litter, huh? Yeah, don't care about that. Uh, Amanda Pole doesn't work. Karen Kowalski. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, it's Eon Lamb. That's that's not her. Okay, where's his? Oh, Philip, 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 Philip. Oh, look, I can get into his personal quarters and examine all his super secrets and kick things and. You know, examine and see how he brushed his teeth and used the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. And we can run water there. Look at that. Here, let me uh, let me see if if I put the paper in there and no, I want to drop that there. Yeah, and then run the paper over it. Doesn't work. Can I run the shower? Oh look, I have water falling from the ceiling. Oh great. What an amazing piece of technology they have in 1995 or something. Uh, nothing there, nothing there. Coffee cups. Channel selectors. And he has got Connect. Is it. What is it? Is it that Connecticut I'm reading? Technical University? I don't know. I'm no, I'm having a hard time reading that. I think it must be fake. Hart given at Hartford. Oh yeah, I guess it does say given at Hartford, which is in Connecticut. The second day of June in the year 1989. Yeah. Oh. I don't care about that. Oh, but we do have an audio tape. Ah, water complex entering von emotional Rustung. A institute for erotisch. Psychology thera therapy. So I guess this is porn tape. That's what it is. And yes, university material science Newburyport. Yeah, we don't care about that. Three of us remain. Tech code disappeared two weeks ago. Conclusion: Destroy the entity. Sending data to Earth. What's this? Yep. No, we don't need that. Uh, measuring organic crystal structures. Nope. Vasily wants to stop entity research. He contacted Rama directly. What already? What do you think? Future experiments. Reaction electrical charge. He's obviously thinking about how to screw things over. Dating methods. He wants to figure out how old it is. Hive dynamics. Science. I don't care about all these things. I'm sure... I'm sure there's all sorts of fascinating, but frankly, the game will probably... Oh, key! Great, I'll keep that. And we have a picture. My wife, astrobiologist Dr. Amanda Pohl. If they weren't expecting an alien entity, why would they spend an astrobiologist? Okay, I like how he has an employee ID card, which includes his place he works. What's this one? This is... Emotion, uh, yes, another, yes, another porn tape, I think, by the sound of things. I guess his marriage to his wife wasn't quite as good as he, uh, expected. Or maybe not, maybe I'm not reading things into this correctly. 
Uh, Vasily Romanachek. And this will be Ion Lem. Hey, Ion Lem. Go on, hacksaw your doors. Okay, I don't care about that. Accident District. Mel Vesnelt's tissues. Well, wow, he's obviously a, yeah. Spends a lot of time in here on his own. And that's kind of weird. What happens in space stays in space. Oh my god, there's weird stuff going on between these guys. Let me get this, another ban, another tape. These are tape. Oh yes, yes, screw that. We have a camera, a useful thing to have around. Next time I see the entity, I shall make sure to take a photo of this. Things have gone south here in Titan. Dr. Roman Czech is dead. Killed as he tried to destroy something we have been studying for over a year. The others were in the room too when it kind of exploded. But he was the only one who died, vanished or something. Since he is gone and the science has turned lethal, I don't want to stay here anymore. Dad, send me a shuttle and take me home. I'll be happy to join LTHC. The little toy human cross things. Okay, uh, we haven't listened to some of these. Let's try listening to Accident District. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this guy had great taste in music. Photo of myself? Sure, let's turn this around. Oh, it doesn't let me turn it around. Damn it! That's so not cool. I was hoping to take a picture of myself. They have don't have a mirror here, so you can't take a picture of yourself. Set the lasers to full power. Free time at Accident District. To be the first to play in space. Yes, okay. Time and space. Okay. And we get this guy. And we get a token. Great. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. I hope you're well. If you truly believe in the research, then I can respect that. However, this is just one another little adventures. Following in the footsteps of your childhood hero, that would be a disappointment. When you return, there will be an open position ready for you at, here at LTHC. Oh, yes. Lamb Transplanetary Hauling Company. Who cares about that? Okay, I've had enough of this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take that. Electric Dynamite. Now, what else do we have? We had these ones. What do these sound like? I hope this isn't X-rated. Wow. This is a really interesting type of music. This is actually really scary. I'm not listening to that. Ah, okay, and this one is deleted. What does it say? I just read that without external circadian cues, human oh. length can vary between 18 and 52 hours. So I can't rely on my sleeping rhythm and estimating time. It's probably around mid-April. Uh -huh. Time for yet another diary entry from yours truly. I managed to break into every room on the station in search of anything worth salvaging. Mainly I've been looking for some entertainment and ways to record this diary. Lion's music cassettes have been the most handy for that <laughs> task. And frankly, I feel he owed them to me. Wow, could you imagine listening to that terrible music? The lab gives me the creeps. It makes me feel so warm and soothing. But my rational mind refuses to comprehend it. I try to visit the lab as little as possible because something just feels out of place. Uh, I see. Wow, it's a long rewind on these things. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that, eject. 
Take it, stick it away. Uh, do I have any others that haven't been listened to? That's just music. That's that's really I don't want to listen to any of that stuff. I'm sure it's just going to be more bad music. Let's run downstairs and see if we can now get back. So this is before everything went to crap, obviously. I wonder if there's more stuff in here. We have a drill thingy, a bitook. Duct tape. Um, sponge, yeah. Another sponge. Wrench. Nothing of consequence here. When am I going to run into some of the crew here? Stoneworks. Uh, coins, oh yeah. Money! We're just taking everybody's money that they had left sitting around. How do we destroy it? Disperse with gravity wave. Vasily failed. Detonate insufficient. Generator overload. P destroys base. Probable case cave collapse. Uh, food, snacks, Plato in the symposium. Okay. Oh. We have somebody's Karen's ID card. I should check her place out. And it's the kitty. And that, I think, is a picture from the future. Time and space. 20 years. Clean your mess. Okay. So I'm actually going to run back upstairs and check her thing. Oh, there's more pictures here. Non-scientific approach to space research. So these are the same photos from the past. Or from the future or whatever. I think it's the future. Or maybe it's the alternate dimension. Because we're really not sure if, if they move to the future. Or if they move to some parallel dimension or whatever, right? Okay, so Karen K Kowalski, right? That's Amanda. That's Karen Kowalski. Let's get in here. Jessica and Ethan. Dear whatever. Dear Karen, kids are doing well. Blah, 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 blah. Hope you're well. I don't care. Tape to Ethan and Jessica. That's probably like a boring tape. Okay, 93. 94, obviously he's younger. How to handle loss. Yeah, she's got... She's unhappy because her husband died. Home is where the heart is. Yeah, it's not where the alien entity is. Dear Jessica, I got your card. It was delightful. Who cares? Doesn't say anything about an alien entity. I'm not interested. Karen. That's your contact stuff. And another t Karen's therapy. High school, school for girls, Salem for school for girls. I thought they taught. I thought Salem was all about witch hunts and stuff. Uh, nothing here. Nothing of consequence. Time to head out. Run, 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 run. I'm hearing some noises somewhere. Something has changed in its sound. Now, wait a second. This is a study. That was where I was earlier, right? With him. But hydroponics is through here. Let's head on through and see if we can get back now to the airlock. Perhaps I can open the airlock from the other side now. Ooh. Things aren't all broken here. Ah, oh, we can get into the cargo area now. We have all sorts of gear and stuff. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was some really quite powerful music there. I wish they would show us which ones were actually useful. Oh. Caution, overhead crane. Unfortunately, I can't get in there. I'm guessing I'll be able to use time travel to get in there. When the time comes. I wonder if I should go... I should probably go down and see what's down here. You know what? I'm, no, I'm going to continue on. I did want to see if I could use time travel. So, uh, airlock this way. It's locked. Oh, okay. That's uh, research lab. Airlock A is, in fact, open. So this is where I ended up initially, and there, in that helmet, is the alien entity thing. So you know what? I kind of want to try and take a snapshot of that thing. Where did I leave that camera? There is a camera in, um, what is his name's Paul's room, right? So if I go and bring that out this way. It's really loud. I gotta say, a lot of walkie, stampy, stampy, walkie, walkie. Yeah, it's definitely the cat that's doing this. That makes a lot of noise. Very noisy air conditioning in this station. Philip. Yes, there was a camera in here, wasn't there? I thought there was a camera in here. Uh, 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 uh. Then I get really mad and I probably threw it somewhere. Or was it in Lem's room? Maybe it was Lem. Because he, of course, had the picture of the... Yeah, there it is there. I'm going to take this. Oh, okay. There we go. Got to carry it. Got to throw it through the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I really want to take a picture of this alien to see if it does anything interesting. Uh, study. Through here. Put this down. Push this. Pick it up. Throw it. Okay, now I gotta run and find my next point. It's not a survival situation, but don't you hear that there's an alien entity on the loose? Okay, I wanna take a picture of this thing. Okay, what does this show? It shows... nothing. Well, so much for that. I thought it might show some clues to the nature of the alien entity in that hat. Well, let's go and check downstairs. There is an elevator over there that might take me down. Shouldn't the gravity be way less? It should, except that they have gravity generators in this universe, right? I'm not saying it's an alien entity, but it's an alien entity. It's something. It's bees. We don't know what it is, but it has not been good for the people on this place. Oh, we got a we got a B thingy there. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, 
Uh huh. We get some garbage here. Sounds like there's some scary stuff going on. Let's find some bees and gas them. Where do the bees hide? Uh oh, I'm hearing a bee right now. Vesely's faucet, G beam wheel, drill bit change, lab ventilation fan, eco. Okay. Oh, wait, there's one there. I can see it. I wonder if I can grab it. Just by. No. Come on! Swap! No! No, it doesn't want to move. Okay, so that's it there. Never mind. I shall have to be... Oh. I'm going to get stung at this rate. A lot of bees around here. Oh, what's this here, I wonder? Nothing? This does not look safe to me. This does not look safe at all. <laughs> it's like, hey, here's a thing you have to get past somehow. Um, so, is this going to be a time travel situation, do you think? Yeah, maybe I need to tra travel back into a different time zone again. Let's try picking up the helmet and see what happens. Yeah, that's the cargo bay. We can't get through there. The research lab is locked down, but that's like there's a downstairs way into that, I'll bet you, right? So let's try using the time travel helmet to switch places again to the ruined future. Hey, uh, come here. Are we ready? <laughs> okay, let's get down here again. That's okay, I'm fine. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can't get under here because the thing's collapsed. Or maybe I can't. No, that's the elevator there. Okay, I, I should be able to get through that. Okay. Oh, but that is blocked here, right? You know what? I have a key that I need to fix. Maybe I'll try twist, you know, switching back in time again. I... I found our doctor's lighter in the study. Along with the limited power, I've been able to generate from the exercise. Okay. Well, let there be a light. Bees! Bees! I borrowed some fertilizer from the cargo, but it hasn't really perked up the plants at all. I guess I'm not the only one missing sunlight around here. Yeah. She's not in a good way. Oh well, I guess I shall... I shall just try switching my position back in time again. And I seem to be stuck. How do I get back out of here? I'll try crouching my way through. There we go. Back to the airlock. Back to the time travel, because you know what? This is clearly not working well. 
No, that's not it. It's this one. I wonder if I go outside with it, what happens? Oh, it magically disappears. It's like, nope, you're only going to time travel in this particular room. It just pops back to the shelf magically. That is not the happiest way to start a day. You know what? At this point, uh, options. Can I save? No, okay. I, I want to see what happens if I step into that electricity because, you know, frankly, I'm interested. Because, I mean, you, know, you can jump off a of high heights and not die. So I wonder if I step into the electricity, what happens? End of game. Yeah, so apparently you can die in this game. Good to know. Uh, I think at this point I actually have to call it a night. Because I have much to do in the morning. I have many things to do in the morning. Uh, and I'm tired. And I've just killed myself. Yes, this is back in the future. Okay, well, uh, see you guys around sometime. I'm going to say goodnight, farewell, see you tomorrow. Check out my Meteor Creator stuff. And, uh, yeah, fly safe.